Are you a fan of classic television series? Ever wondered about the lesser known tidbits that make a show like Maverick all the more fascinating? As we delve into the intriguing world of this 1957 TV series, it might pique your curiosity to ask, out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? Or even ponder, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Now, let's set the stage for some random facts about Maverick. This western series, featuring the adventures of Brett and Bart Maverick, two charming gamblers, unfolded on the small screen in the late 50 seconds. What makes it particularly captivating is that, unlike other shows of its time, Maverick didn't take itself too seriously. It combined drama, humor, and a touch of mischief, turning it into a unique entry in the TV landscape. One interesting tidbit about Maverick is that James Garner and Jack Kelly, who played the Maverick brothers, had a genuine camaraderie on and off screen. Their chemistry added an extra layer of authenticity to the show's sibling dynamics. It's the kind of behind the scenes insight that makes you appreciate the on-screen performances even more. As we journey back in time to the heyday of Maverick, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, what's your favorite role from Maverick? Or perhaps you have an intriguing anecdote to share about this classic series. Let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts and let's dive deeper into the world of Maverick. In the world of 1957 television, Maverick made its mark as a popular series. One key turning point in the show's history came when Sir Roger Moore left the series due to declining script quality. He expressed a desire for scripts on par with those in James Garner's earlier seasons. The departure of Sir Roger Moore highlights the significance of strong writing and the success of a show. This departure also contributed to a change in the show's tone. James Garner's creative solution during a tight shooting schedule gave birth to a more humorous approach. To save time and money, he suggested a funny fight scene involving tall weeds, resulting in laughter on set. This shift towards humor had a lasting impact on the series, turning it into a semi-comedy. Additionally, the producer's decision to cast Robert Colbert as Brent Maverick for his resemblance to James Garner is notable. Colbert was even asked to wear an identical costume, which he humorously compared to wearing a dress. This move aimed to maintain continuity in the show's appearance. These behind-the-scenes stories reveal the evolution of Maverick and how creative decisions and the departure of a key cast member shaped the series. It's a testament to the complexities of producing a successful television show. Jack Kelly was the only Maverick star to appear in all five seasons of the series. He played the role of Bart Maverick, one of the show's main characters. Despite considering other actors like Rod Taylor, and Stuart Whitman for the part, Kelly ultimately became the face of the series. In addition to his acting, Leo Gordon, who portrayed Big Mike McComb, also contributed as a writer for several episodes. This classic TV series, which ran from 1957 to 1962, is known for its humor, wit, and memorable characters. Maverick, the 1957 TV series, had a unique production model. In the first season, they faced schedule issues and added a second lead, Bart Maverick, alongside Brett. They filmed episodes for both brothers simultaneously, allowing for weekly releases. This method continued for the first four seasons, featuring various combinations of the Maverick brothers. Producer Roy Huggins had a distinctive approach. He believed in making the situations in Maverick stories always seem hopeless, but never truly serious. This approach set the show apart from traditional westerns, adding a layer of humor and charm. Even after James Garner left the series, he, Jack Kelly, Sir Roger Moore, and their wives regularly gathered for what they called poker school at the Kelly home on Sunset Boulevard. In summary, Maverick's production model, Huggins' guiding principle, and the camaraderie among the cast members contributed to the series' success and lasting popularity. The 1957 TV series Maverick was a classic in its own right, and it's interesting to note that Sir Sean Connery was initially offered the role of Beauregard Beau Maverick, although he declined. As fate would have it, years later, Sir Roger Moore would replace Connery in the James Bond franchise. Maverick starred James Garner as the iconic Brett Maverick, 
and on April 21, 2006, a 10-foot-tall statue of James Garner as Brett Maverick was unveiled in Garner's hometown of Norman, Oklahoma. Garner himself was present for the occasion. However, it's worth mentioning an intriguing tidbit from Sir Roger Moore's autobiography. Despite assurances that he wasn't replacing James Garner, when Moore visited the costume department, he found all his clothes labeled with Jim Garner, albeit semi-scratched out. These anecdotes shed light on the interesting history of the show and its connections to other famous actors in the industry. In 1957, the TV series Maverick gained fame with an interesting anecdote involving Sir Roger Moore and his co-star Jack Kelly. The actors had protested against the long working hours on set. In response, the studio placed a time clock in the makeup department, requiring actors to punch in each morning. Sir Roger Moore, along with Jack Kelly, refused to comply with this measure. Moore even brought his own makeup and never punched in. Jack Kelly, sharing a similar sentiment, took the time clock and used it as a football in a show of defiance. This incident shed light on the challenges faced by actors during the making of the series. In 1960, James Garner sued the Warner Brothers studio for breach of contract, arising from his suspension during the writer's strike of that year. Warners claimed that there were no scripts available during the strike, and were, therefore, justified in suspending Garner without pay. However, it was learned during court testimony that the studio had secretly obtained approximately 100 television scripts during the strike. Eventually, the Los Angeles Superior Court ruled in favor of Garner, and he was released from his contract with the series. This legal battle between James Garner and Warner Brothers shed light on the inner workings of the popular 1957 TV series, Maverick. It revealed the behind-the-scenes struggles that sometimes occur in the world of television production. Garner's victory in court had a significant impact on his career and the show itself. The divided set, feuds among cast members on Maverick the 1957 TV series Maverick is not just remembered for its entertaining Wild West adventures, but also for the conflicts and clashes among its cast members. Behind the scenes, tensions sometimes ran high, impacting the dynamics of the show. The most prominent feud was between James Garner and Jack Kelly, who played the Maverick brothers, Brett and Bart. These two actors didn't see eye to eye, and their on-screen chemistry was at times affected by their off-screen disagreements. This discord led to a decision to have alternating episodes, with each actor having their own storyline, reducing the need for them to work together as often. Garner's departure from the show in 1960 further underlined the animosity leaving Jack Kelly to carry the series on his own. Despite their differences, both actors had successful careers beyond Maverick. These conflicts among cast members serve as a reminder that even in the glamorous world of Hollywood, not everything is as harmonious as it appears on screen. The tensions behind the scenes of Maverick add a layer of complexity to the show's history and the relationships among its actors. As we draw the curtains on this captivating journey through the world of the 1957 TV series, Maverick, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection that this iconic show has forged within you. Like the characters who graced your screens with their wit and charm, Maverick has woven its narrative threads into the tapestry of your own life. Whether you've chuckled at the clever schemes of Brett and Bart, admired their daring card games, or simply marveled at the Wild West landscapes they traversed, this show has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on your entertainment repertoire. It's a testament to the enduring allure of storytelling that transcends time and generations. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Share your cherished memories and thoughts about Maverick. What episodes made you laugh out loud? Which characters stole your heart? How did this series influence your appreciation of Western-themed entertainment? Your words are the threads that will continue to weave this rich tapestry of nostalgia and appreciation. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us and for sharing your thoughts on Maverick. Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective tapestry of fan experiences, and we are genuinely grateful for your time and interest. Warmly.